difficult to reach. There is a report that the plane was carrying around $470,000 in government cash for poor families in those remote villages. Aviation experts say a software upgrade may have caused the glitch that canceled or delayed hundreds of flights this weekend. The Federal Aviation Administration believes it's tracked the problem to an upgrade at a radar facility near Washington's Dulles International Airport. The glitch caused more than 400 flights to be canceled. This is USA Headline News. Hey, what's going on here? Haven't you heard? Handwriting can make you awesome, and that's why Bic's on a mission to save it. Handwriting can make me awesome? Uh, yeah. Handwriting could boost your self-confidence, spark creativity, and it definitely makes you a better reader. And that's pretty awesome. Huh, I never thought of it like that. I want in. Toss me a Bic. This year at Back to School, join the movement with Bic and fight for your right. See how awesome writing can be, how great you can be. Learn more at Bic Fight for Your Right. That's W-R-I-T-E dot com. Or grab a Bic today and see for yourself. Oh. All set. How was your visit with the dentist? Oh. Shall we book another appointment then? Oh, no. No, I Wonderful. Have... I'll sign you up for our root canal rewards. Tenth one's free. Mm-hmm. You're drooling on my papers. That's lovely. How about a rewards program you'll actually use every day? Introducing Plenty. Earn points at lots of places, including AT&T, Exxon, Macy's, Mobile, Nationwide, and Rite Aid. There's Plenty together. Learn more at plentywithani.com. Terms and conditions apply. Hey, everybody, it's Eric and Angel from the Experience Pros Radio Show, which is coming up next. Yesterday, we had a great time over at Boom. Boom is business owners of magnitude. We host a networking event. They are hosting a networking event once a month. You can find it on our calendar at experiencepros.com slash calendar. This is a chance for everybody over on that west side in Westminster who wants to network with us. This is where we hang out at is at Boom. Boom. Make sure you mark your calendar for the event coming up in September. Tonight, right? This tonight. Is, this is tonight. We're it's doing finally here. a ribbon cutting for the James Resource Network Complete Couture. This is bridal gowns, formal wear. What does that mean? Gorgeous, gorgeous gowns. Couture. What? What is that? It's fancy. Oh, so should I? Should I wear my go-to-meet and clothes? You know, if you showed up a little dressed up, it wouldn't be bad. All right. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a bad do, thing. I'll do my best. 4 to 6 p.m. in Centennial. Check that out. We've got a couple of folks from the City of Centennial Council coming to hang out and cut that ribbon with us. On Thursday, our uh, friend Holly Claire is putting together a social media webinar. You ever want to know how to learn uh, YouTube? For your business, you can actually use YouTube for business. Holly Claire is going to teach you all Thursday, the 27th, 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Check into the webinar. It's going to be great. And that's, you know, she's the social media advisor. Right. So good, good stuff there. Of course, the Loveland extravaganza going on at the Ranch Event Center in Loveland is on Thursday. We've been talking about it all summer long. And yes, it's finally here. It is going on this week. We're going to do something really cool, though, at the very beginning of it. We're going to launch a brand new business here in Colorado. We're going to do a ribbon cutting for the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. Of course, you hear them every Tuesday here on the Experience Pros radio show. You know they're good for business and we're celebrating them at one o'clock at the Ranch Event Center in Loveland. So come and uh, participate. Stay, you know, come for the ribbon cutting and then stay for the extravaganza. You can get tickets to the entire event at theconnectingexperts.com. Then, of course, we always look forward to Fan Bragging Friday. Well, there's a new way to do it. All we want you to do is call 855 Fan Brag 24 7. You can call it anytime and we'll take your call, your message, get you on the show on Friday. That, of course, is live here in this market from 10 to noon. Parents' Night Out from ATA Family Martial Arts is Friday night. Uh, They're doing some dodgeball, some fun stuff going on from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. And you know they take really good care of your kids. They come home exhausted, which is perfect after you've gone out. Um, And then for your teens, a finding your identity through knowing yourself going on at the Castlewood Library on Saturday, August 29th. And if you want to round out your weekend, don't forget the Social 7 podcast uh, that's going on on Sunday at 7 p.m. every Sunday. Budgeting for ads in social media is the topic of this coming Sunday's Social 7 podcast. Always something going on pretty much every single day through the Experience Pros Network. Subscribe to the Experience Pros calendar. I did. I've put it in a fun little other colored colored font, and now I get to see all the stuff going on, and I never miss a thing. Wait a minute. You can change the color of your font? I On my calendar, I do. Oh, Does that change the color of my font? Experiencepros.com slash calendar. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next.
Hi, this is Scott Watley. Join me weekdays from noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. We'll help with consumer problems, give you quality business referrals, let you know about the latest scams, and we'll also give great help for seniors. Weekdays, noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. Check out our website, haystackhelpradio.com. The Experience Pros with Angel and Eric, next on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. Are you a, are you a cycling enthusiast? Do I look like a cycling enthusiast? You kind of do. I do? Yeah. You're no. all hard body and stuff. Oh, oh wow. Thank you. Um, my girlfriend, Carrie, says you should only do activities where the outfits are cute. Yeah. And she says cycling, no. Oh, I, I beg to differ. Those girls wear spandex. They do. They do. Mm-hmm. With padding in the tushy. Padding? Yeah. Um, I have a pair of bicycle shorts. They're, padding? They're like padded. The tushy is padded. Yeah, because the, the seat, you know, the bicycle seat makes you have a little raw height. The seat is padded. I know, but you know, if you're on a, the bike for a very long period of time, yeah. it's not enough. It's not enough. It's All not right. Enough, okay. Right. So you're not a cyclist. No, my husband is. Your husband is. Mm-hmm. Well, be careful, Jay, if you head out to Melbourne. To where? Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. No, no, Melbourne. That's how they say it. Who says it? The Melbournes. Are you a Melbourne? The Melbourneites. The people. Here, say Melbourne. Well, but, okay. So if you We're go do out this there, this whole thing now in Australian accent. I can't, I, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> An Australian cyclist. You did see uh, the cute little meme with the shrimp on the Barbie doll. Yes, mm-hmm. there were shrimp so on the Barbie doll. That was so uh, the kangaroo apocalypse is here. Are there zombie kangaroos? Uh, I don't know if there's zombies, but there was a flocking of them. A, a what? A horde. Excuse me. Yeah. It was a, a whole bunch of kangaroo. Kangaroo? Mm, well, that's plural. Kangaroosin? Don't you know? <laughs> the kangaroosin in the woodsin. There's the woodsin. The kangaroos. Yeah. <laughs> what is plural for kangaroo? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the, an Australian cyclist is just riding, just riding his merry old way down Melbourne, and boom, there's a kangaroo horde. Now, boom, and we're talking, boom was the networking event we did last night. Boom. Uh, you're right. There, there were hundreds of kangaroos just standing there in the field watching this guy bike. So they were outstanding in their field? They were outstanding in their field. <laughs> stole my thunder. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. There were so many kangaroo uh, hanging out I, watching. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's the plural. It's called a kangaroo horde. I don't think that's it either. No, it really is. Mm-hmm. Why? Did you read it on the internet? You know, don't make fun of me. So it must I, be I am a legitimate reporter, and I'm re- re- reporting legitimate news here. All right. Um, okay. So I'm sorry. You were saying I actually don't have any clue what your point is. Was this whole story? There, well, there was no point. It's just that uh, have you ever seen a flock? And I mean, that would terrify me. There's a the horde of kangaroo. Um, I've not seen more than one. You know, a whole big, large group of kangaroos. However, I remember once seeing a swarm. Of ladybugs, oh, millions that, and millions of ladybugs, and they were like out. covering every surface by mounds and mounds of ladybugs. And ladybugs are cute; they're adorable. They're fun in your backyard when you see a couple of them flying around. But um, when you see them in that massive quantity, yeah, it is creepy. I, I, I want to ask those folks down in Tampa, Florida, uh, WHFS, uh, listening to us right now. I want to know. What the heck is going on with those love bugs? They do the little mating thing when people are trying to do the Orlando thing. And um, it's the Orlando thing. You know, the the, the, the big thing, the, the big ears. I don't. I, I don't know what there's, there's he's big like. Ears. He's like moving his hands. I, I'm around. gesturing to show you the big ears of of Disney, of Florida. That thing. You, you don't want. Why don't you want to? We're see not Disney? talking about Disney. We're talking about the the, the bugs. 
these love bugs, they mate and get in your grill. Uh, uh, okay. <gasps> so, <gasps> Sorry. I don't think I have been able to track with anything you have said this morning no? so far. No. Oh. Well, in Israel, they're no longer allowed to call ketchup ketchup. Did you know that? Because we have to call it red sauce. Well, there's so little tomato solids in the product. It's more like tomato seasoning. Tomato seasoning. Yeah. Red red sauce. Right. We're just going to call it red sauce. Right. Which could really kind of mess with the whole business side of that. Who is lobbying to have ketchup? The Israeli government. Tomato seasoning. The Israeli government ordered the food maker Heinz to I stop think. using the word ketchup. Because ketchup means tomato? Yes, there's not enough tomato solid to the product. The health ministry ordered the word or ordered the word ketchup to be banned and uh, rather prefers tomato seasoning. Tomato seasoning yeah. just rolls right off the tongue. Mm -hmm. Could you pass me the tomato seasoning? Excellent. Sounds and mustard. Refined. And mustard. And the grape For poupon. For my hot dog. And the grape poupon. Yeah. The tomato seasoning and the grape poupon. Well, there you have it. See, we're getting fancy over here. That's your news for today. That's enough. You're welcome. It's time for business tips and insights. And our friends, Mel and Bobby Sue, who were on vacation, they actually called in from Florida last week, which was pretty cool to know that business owners can uh, be in Florida and uh, still be running their business back east, which or you know back at home, which is, I think, one of the most fantastic things for all of us to think about. Um, Bobby Sue, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yep. Mel, good to have you in the studio. Thank you guys very much. And now, Mel, uh, you guys were in Florida. Did you see any of those uh, love bugs? I did not see any love bugs. Uh, it may not be the uh, season. Or how about, as Eric described, the Orlando thing? Yes, we saw a lot of the Orlando <laughs> big eared thing. There you go. The Orlando <laughs> thing. They have it. The red sauce and the Orlando thing. Yes, <laughs> they be. actually, and they actually have a bug called a noceum. A noceum? Oh. Noceum. They bite. They bite. Our they... friends in the South know them as chiggers. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's how I grew up knowing right. them. And they destroyed. Every inch Did of you my get skin. the red belt of shame? Oh my goodness. It is <laughs> miserable. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not about the business tip. Okay. I, I just threw up in my mouth again. So, <laughs> Bowman Heating and Air, you guys actually took a vacation and yes. you were actually teaching us as business owners to actually take vacations yes. and, the, and the value of taking some time off from your business. Now that you're back, yes. any <laughs> any tips for how to jump back in? Um, Just feet first. I mean, yeah. just plunge right into it. It's scary, but you know. Yeah. So, you, how long were you gone? You gone? Ten days. Ten days. Which is All a right. very long time. You had other folks running the shop, making sure yes. that the business got done. By the way, mm -hmm. I saw some great fan brags about your business uh, in, uh, on Thank the you. on the line. <laughs> uh, but but Mel, um, clearly, when you're gone for that long, and hopefully, if you vacation properly, uh, you disconnected uh, yes. a little bit. Uh, dealing with your red belt of shame. <laughs> so did you just come back and just delete all the emails that had come in and oh. say, okay, we're starting over? Oh, no, no, no. I you cannot to. do that. I wanted to. I wanted <laughs> yeah. to. You're like, I don't like that one. Yeah. I don't like that one. Ooh, check. I don't <laughs> like that one. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, we, we had to come in and we had to come feet first, as Bobby Sue says. And we had to be involved with so many things from our customers we had to take care of that uh, – you know, whenever you leave, sometimes your customers tend to feel kind of clingy and mm -hmm. they yeah, kind yeah. Of feel a little bit abandoned. And but they still call you on your cell phone. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so, we talked about this before you left, uh, that, that you were going to turn off the cell phones and, and that, that didn't work so well. It, it did. But, right. I mean, whenever but you you're... You need them while yeah. you're even on vacation. Exactly. Right? You've got to get a hold of your family. Right. I mean, really and truly, we did not get bothered that much, honestly. Yeah. Matt and Amanda took care of almost everything so you left you were gone for 10 days and now you're back and so what is something for you to get ready for your next vacation that you will maybe put in place did you learn anything <laughs> uh yes make sure that um since amanda just started not too long ago make sure she knows a lot more than i taught her <laughs> okay, so let's give a little bit of background there amanda is your new employee and yes, she's been there she for a, a very short time yeah maybe two weeks two weeks, <laughs> yeah. two weeks, two weeks and we're out yeah, yeah, yeah we threw her right in the fam in yeah the <laughs> Well, good for her for um, you know sticking through it and muddling she's, through and being amazing. willing to kind of learn trial by fire. Oh yeah. All right. So a few more systems in place, a few more, a little more training before you mm -hmm. go. Any other tips about coming back before you go? Take a big deep breath when you see your inbox is full. 
Yeah. <laughs> 250 emails, one we'll bite at there. a time. Oh, we will get there. 250 in 10 days? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah, I'll trade you. Yeah. I'll yeah, I'm sure you all you. a lot more than. Well, oh, you guys God. have 60,000 listeners. Yeah. Well, plus now. There's, there's oh, a few great. more of these Just days. a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, Bowman Heating and Air serving the uh, Colorado market. What's the best, play, best um, way to connect with you if we have any issues with our heating and air conditioning? Um, you can give us a call on our phone. It's at 303-622-6502. Again, that's 303-622-6502. And you've got a website as well. Is that right? Yes. yes Please. BowmanHVAC.com. Bowman oh, I like that you do stereo. that in stereo. <laughs> BowmanHVAC.com. Incredible customer service. Incredible reviews. Um, family owned. Bobby, Sue, and Mel, thanks so much for coming in every week and giving our, our listeners great biz tips right from the horse's mouth. I mean, this is like right as you guys are doing it, growing that business. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just valuable um, because other, other people feel the same way. And if you can do it, so can we. Bowman HVAC. C.com, Bowman, H-V-A-C. Com. All right. Love that. And, uh, you, you know, I don't know. There's no CMs. I'm so glad here in, in Colorado we don't have those. Colorado is, has very few bugs. Yeah, absolutely. And, and kangaroo. Uh, very few kangaroo. Mm -hmm. Folks, don't go anywhere. We come back. More positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state.ca. Us. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Dude, your wife's hot. I know, right? I'm not kidding. She's really hot. Yeah, I married up. I'm trying to tell you, your wife's hot. Will someone please call Bowman Heating and Air? It's 90 degrees in here. Don't let anyone else tell you how hot your wife is. Call Bowman Heating and Air today. 303-622-6502. Bowman Heating and Air. Keeping couples together and relationships cool. Ask about the preventative maintenance option with a 100% mechanical guarantee. Bowman HVAC.com. Imagine having a business partner watch over your computer systems day and night, actively responding to changing needs in your environment, helping make sure things run fast and smooth, protecting your valuable information. With availability, our managed services platform, C Squared Computer Consulting can provide 24 by 7 monitoring, manage updates, and optimize your systems. Let C Squared be your business partner. Call us at 303-933-1113. Mention Experience Pros, we'll waive the setup fee. Over 400,000 businesses in Colorado have less than 10 employees. Your business probably fits into that category. Imagine what would be accomplished if everyone joined forces. The Colorado Micro Business Alliance brings owners together to give you a unified voice in state and local politics, as well as helps negotiate better deals for products and services. They offer top level seminars and networking events. Join now for only $5 a month at Colorado Micro Business Alliance com. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Let's talk about advertising. It's a key element for growing your company and making sure people are aware of your brand. If you're going to put a half-page ad into a magazine with 60000 in circulation, it'll cost about $1,500. 
and you get to be in front of your target audience. If you're going to attend a big trade show, you're going to spend about $1,500 and you get to interact with potential clients. If you're going to sponsor a foursome in a golf tournament, you're going to spend about $1,500 and you get to support your favorite charity. At Experience Pros, $1,500 goes a long ways. You get an entire year of membership with business networking, online customizable listing, featured ads, three radio spots during the year, speaking opportunities, sponsorship options, and more. Sign up today at experiencepros.com. Hi, I'm Angie Austin with the good news with Angie Austin. That's me. Please join me right here on this station, KLZ, for the good news on Sundays at 8 a.m. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Do this, do that, do it the way I want it to be done. Ah! You're difficult. I'm, no, I'm not difficult. I'm channeling. One of my difficult bosses that I've had in my lifetime. You know, I think we've all had a difficult boss at one point or another. And, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet thing. You know, when, you, when you're working for them, you absolutely, I mean, you just, it's very difficult. And you're not yes, happy. Absolutely. But in my situation, in many cases, actually, kind of after the fact, you realize that that difficult boss yeah. really pushed you and challenged you. And in retrospect, after you grow up a little bit. It was like the English teacher in high school. You actually really appreciate them for, for pushing you. And so we're going to talk about today how to deal with a difficult boss with Vicki Oliver. She's a leading career development expert and the multi-bestselling author of five books, including 301 Smart Answers to a Tough interview questions right. and live like a millionaire without having to be one. So we're pretty excited um, that she's here to actually help us deal with a difficult boss. Vicki Oliver, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Vicki, can't we just quit? Well, you know, you can. <laughs> <laughs> no one's saying you can't, but sometimes it's hard to find a job. My basic philosophy is usually the same type of personality that drives you crazy in one place will drive you crazy somewhere else. So you may as well learn how to cope with that personality type. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's bound to happen, right? Either they're an arrogant bully or micromanaging control freak. That would be me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just throw well, that you know, out there. Self-knowledge is, is a great thing. Yes. There are different types of people. And I, I, I actually wrote a, bo a book called Bad Bosses, Crazy Coworkers, and Other Office Idiots. How oh, fun. <laughs> and it outlines the different types you're likely to find. And the theory of the book is, you know, deal with it, look up that personality type, figure out what to do, and then put the book away for another day until you run into the next hard person to deal with. Right. All right. That's good advice. Now, do you find, Vicki, that, um, you know, the situation I described that later on you find that that difficult boss, you know, sometimes was the one that really just pushed you to be your, your very best and you appreciate them like later, far later, after you've tucked, you know, done tucking your tail between your after legs, you right? Quit and start your yes, own business. Yes, absolutely. You know, it all depends on your own proclivity to learn. If you are the type of person who learns from experiences, yes, then that type of boss can really, you know, be a growth trigger for you, and that's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, be sure to credit that boss with what you learned later. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, so Vicki, help, help us deal with uh, difficult bosses, if you will, please. What are some steps that we can do right away? Okay, so first off, I think it's important not to always look to your boss for guidance, okay? Sometimes, you know, we get upset because he or she just doesn't give us positive feedback, you know, but that might be nothing to do with the job that you did, but more his or her personal life. You know, maybe the person's distracted and they don't give you feedback. We get upset and we feel like we've done a bad job, but you know what? We know when we've done a good job. So instead of always relying on that person as an authority figure, know when you've done a good job, pat yourself on the back. Yeah, that's good advice. You know, I know there are people that are like, they don't ever recognize me and they don't give me the communication that I need, but you can seek it and you can still get it even if it doesn't come directly from, from your boss. That is excellent. All right, what's another good strategy, Vicki? I say if you can sort of stay cool and calm, 
it's really half the battle. So even let's say, let's say you're working for somebody who loses their temper all the time. You know, I've certainly worked for screamers in my life and they're getting hysterical. Don't you get hysterical? Because the thing is, when you're working for somebody else, you are expected to solve problems, not create them. Yeah, but, so but, but if your boss is hysterical and then you get hysterical, you're not solving the problem. Uh, okay, let's skip this one because uh, that's a hard thing. If somebody's <laughs> yelling at you. Yeah, uh, Eric's like, I got, I got a um, bigger, a of tea. louder voice I can come back <laughs> at you with. Uh, you know, don't also don't assume like just because somebody's yelling at you, yeah. okay? Don't assume that he or she is correct, okay? He, he or she may be blowing off steam, and you know, later, later in a calm moment, you can get to the bottom of it. Yeah, All right. That's All right. smart. That's very smart, Vicky. Uh, do you, what do you think about? Um, you're finding something in common. I, I, you, you know, everybody's got something in common, right? There's always something in common. I mean, maybe you both play golf. You know, maybe you both watch the same television show. There's always something you can find in common, and that sometimes smooths over some of the rougher patches. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, sometimes it's hard to find, you know, and you, know, you just come from two different planets, it feels like. But there is still a, a you know, the, the thing that you do have in common is at least the company you work for and maybe some of the goals that the, the company has. The reason and, you both got in. Right. Sure. You have that in common. But if you can find something outside of the workplace that you have in common, a lot of times it just helps keep the relationship healthy and good. You can always sort of talk about that. You know, how was the golf game last week? You know, and I like this because, like you said, the, the personality challenge that you might have with this person at this location, if you were to just quit and leave, you could end up finding somebody with that same personality in your new location. And I think, Vicki, this is super valuable, uh, especially for some of our um, young graduates, you know, that are just brand new getting out into that workforce to recognize that, you know, it, you might have somebody that's going to be tough on you, that somebody is going to challenge you, um, you yeah. know, somebody that you have a, a difficult time with and you can't just change classes anymore. You've got to learn some great, some great skills. Tell me the name of that, that book that you, that you referenced. Oh, it's called Bad Bosses, Crazy Coworkers and Other Office Idiots. I like it. Where do we get a copy of that, Vicki? You can find it on Amazon. You can find it in bookstores. And if you want, if people want more information about any of the books, my website is Vicky V I C K Y Oliver dot com. Do you have a blog and and stuff that people can follow? I don't. I do not have well, she's a got, blog, she's got a but I books. do have a lot of articles on my website that people can you know you can learn a lot about job hunting about office politics just by sort of perusing the website. Fantastic. Vicki, uh, final question for you. Talk to us about the value of a mentor. Well, mentors can sort of help you through the bumps in any corporation. And, you know, people are always saying, oh, there are no mentors anymore. You know what? If you can't find a mentor in your own company, find a mentor in somebody else's company and talk to them about some of the things that you're experiencing. It can really help give you perspective. I like it. Vicki Oliver. Find her online at VickiOliver.com, B-I-C-K-Y. Oliver, just like it sounds, career consultant. She's written five best-selling books, super popular all over the internet, sought-after speaker, seminar presenter, and popular media source. And love today that we're talking about how to deal with difficult bosses. Vicki, I think you've been on the show before. Is that correct? I have been on the show before. Thank you. Well, welcome back. Always so good lovely. to have you. Thanks so much for being our guest today. Thank you for having me. You bet. Well, I am excited. Uh, I've, I've learned uh, a little thing or two about dealing with um, a difficult boss. And um, You think you've learned a thing or two? All I've got to say about that. Because nobody here ever blows up. or what, was it, what were the two styles that she talked about? <laughs> no, no, no. The uh, arrogant bully I, I, or the micromanaging control you freak. Oh, no, you didn't. That's what she said. You called me an arrogant bully? No, no, no. It's bound to happen sooner or later. Come against a difficult boss. An arrogant bully. I didn't call you one, but if that's what you heard. You know what we're going to talk about? Or a micromanaging control freak. We're going to talk about networking next. I'm bringing in my safer. friend, Holly Claire. She's safer. the founder of the Social Media Advisor. And she's safer. coming next. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.
Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. If you rely on networking to build your business, you need Renovate. If you are sick of wasting your time cold calling to find a few, you need Renovate. Extreme Relationship Management will help you renovate. Renovate is revolutionary training that elevates your not working and supercharges your networking to get real results. Sign up for the next Renovate training this week at extremerelationshipmanagement.com or call 855-I-LIKE-ERM. You need Renovate. If your internet presence isn't generating the business you need, you need Greenwood Digital Marketing. They'll help refresh that old stale non-mobile website of yours. They'll manage your listings, social media, and online reputation. Absolutely critical in today's social media world. Get your business's free online analysis by calling 720-739-1875. That's 720-739-1875. GreenwoodDigitalMarketing.com. Again, that's GreenwoodDigitalMarketing.com. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. You're busy, but are you really achieving the dreams you thought you would? Infinite Nation knows that when your vision is big enough, you can create infinite success. Request your free vision check phone call with award-winning vision coach, Carrie Conley. Discover how easy it is to achieve your infinite success. Call 720-331-8693, 720-331-8693, and check out the Vision is Victory workshop online at infinitenation.com. When mom became unable to care for herself, I couldn't always be there. I chose home care assistance because it was the only option that made sense. She's done so much for me. I wasn't going to put my mom in a home. She called home care assistance at 720-443-3371. Mom's caregiver gives her great one-to-one care and a lifestyle she deserves, all in the comfort of her own home. Live in and hourly care available. For a free in-home consultation, call 720-443-3371 or home care assistance Denver.com. Do you wish your career was moving along a different path? Do you ever feel like your business owns you when it should be the other way around? Do you feel like this isn't the life you thought you'd be living? You're not alone. Sandy Corrigan has a system that helps people create careers worth having, businesses worth owning, that result in lives worth living. Call or text Sandy Corrigan today at 303-907-1010. That's 303-907-1010. It's worth the phone call. Landlords, listen up. If you have investment property, you need Legacy Properties PM. Devin Buley will absolutely get you the highest rent possible, handle every imaginable emergency, and make sure that your property is well cared for. He visits every property regularly and knows that he's working for you. Legacy Properties PM, where their promise to you is simple. If your property isn't earning you money, you owe them nothing. There's nothing to lose. 720-989-1996. Mention experience pros and they'll waive the first month's management fee. There's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. The Laura Ingram Show, weekday mornings at 8 on KLZ 560. Come 
together. Come on, come on, let's work together. <laughs> Welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. Thank you, Charlie, for the uh, role in that music. We appreciate that. Hey, you know, it's a social world, and everybody's connected to their gadgets and gizmos, right? But lest we forget, the original social networking was face-to-face. Do you remember how to do that? I do. You do? Of course. All right. I did all it right. yesterday. Boom. Well, we brought in our expert guest today, Holly Claire. She's the founder of the Social Media Advisor, and she's a leading expert on process support and storytelling for brands and social platforms. But today, she's going to talk about actual networking here, where, why, and how. Hello, Holly man. Claire, welcome to the Experience hey, Radio Show. Hey, thanks, guys. It's so good to be here. Well, Holly, very nice to have you uh, in the studio with us. Now, now, let me ask you this. Where do you network? You're a social guru. <laughs> Where do you network and why? Well, that's a really good question. Obviously, online, right? But face-to-face networking is so important. So I've been very specific on the organizations that I've picked. One of them is BNI, Business Networking International. Of course, uh, our friend Dr. Ivan Meisner loves the show, named us the most positive business talk show in America, and he's the founder of BNI. You know, he's amazing. And one of the things he teaches is when you come to a networking event, you shouldn't come anticipating to make a sale. I like that. Oh, say that again. You shouldn't come anticipating a sale. Right. So he does this thing where he looks at a room and he says, everybody who came here to build a relationship, raise your hand. And everyone raises their hand, right? Sure. Well, then he says, okay, put your hands down and put your hands up if you came here to spend money. And no one raises their hand. Well, there's the problem. Right. So who comes to spend money at an event? You're coming to build relationships and that's what it's all about because people do business with who they like, know, and trust. Right. Exactly. Right. So that's the foundation. They teach a lot of that, how to network, how to present yourself, how to tell your story. We also picked, we, meaning my organization, I have a team, uh, the experience pros. And after six months of doing research and looking at all of the different groups in the area, they're fantastic networking groups. But we really liked what Experience Pros delivered because of the marketing aspect. Because we do marketing, and that's important. We want to partner with people who want to help market us as well, right? Right. And the other group that I selected was Polkadot Powerhouse, which is a women's only networking group uh, meeting in Denver. They're actually nationwide. And they are focused on very similar to Experience Pros of the positive energy and business. And so that relationship focus as well. Uh, it's, it's called what? Polkadot? Polkadot Powerhouse. And, and well, it, women's? Or it is. Can, it is I? all women. Yeah. We've had men <sighs> show up. Like we've had men stutters, show up. Okay. stutters over the whole thing. <laughs> Trying to find the door. Uh, no, we've had men come. show up. Yeah, no, you're not invited. <laughs> no, you're I may not, not be invited. invited, but if if men show up, what do you do with them? They were well. Yes. So actually, two months ago, there was a man who showed up and sat down, and he talked about the people who were his ideal client, which happened to be women in this particular demographic. All and right. So we welcomed him, and he sure. participated in everything. And did he come back the next time? He didn't. Oh. No, but it, I think it might have been a little weird. You know, to be the only man in a, in a female in a female <laughs> crowd, and, and vice versa. All right, so NFL ref. So you were so. very strategic about picking the groups, yes. and and each one brought a different element that you needed for for your business, which yes. I think is very smart because I think so many of us just oh well, here's another group I'm going to that, and here's another group I'm going to that, mm-hmm. and we get exhausted and we burn ourselves out. So you pick your events, you pick your your groups that you want a strong alliance with that are going to help you grow your business, then. Okay, so now what? Now, how do you get the most out? How do you make sure that you get out of it what you think that you signed up for? Well, there's a couple of things. First and foremost, you have to show up, right? Because out of sight, out of mind. Absolutely. (laughs) If you've got a commitment, then people are invested in you in return. Holly, I I think you said a sentence that is is very likely to go over the heads and and through the ears of most people (laughs) without resonating. So I want to come back and and reemphasize one particular word. Okay. You You have to show up. You see, I think that's the difference. We think that we sign up with an organization and, uh, you know, that you have to show up just kind of slides on by. It's me. I have to show up if I want my investment to be worth anything. That's correct. And again, it goes back to people do business with who they like, know, and trust, not the company. Right. Mm -hmm. So the company could pay for a membership. That's fine. But it's the person who makes that relationship that makes all the difference. If that person isn't showing up, 
no one's going to have that opportunity to build the relationship with that business. Right. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So show up. So show up. Number two, meet people. Okay. So I, I get intimidated, right? There's all these people, closed circles. Yeah, yeah. Who, how do I open myself up to a conversation? It's really rough. It's I'm like not a gonna, kangaroo horde. It, right. A kangaree or, yes. <laughs> or ketchup. And so... I have to walk up to someone and introduce myself, but I'm not just going to walk up and shake their hand and hand them my business card. No, 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 no. You haven't earned that yet. Right. I, I value my card and my contact information. I'm not just going to give that to anyone and okay. I don't want anyone to just have it. So I'm going to have a conversation, but I'm not going to necessarily say, so what is it that you do? <laughs> right. Because well, I do, I'm a mom. I do laundry, I do hair, <laughs> you know, I do, uh, but no, what is your passion? Let's talk about your passion. Let's maybe even talk about what's your favorite M&M? Why? You know, talk about something that's relatable or an interest to you so it's not awkward. You know, okay. I can remember everything about what everybody does, right? No, but I'm going to remember something interesting about someone. So maybe starting that conversation with something that interests you might be a better way to ask what it is that they have a passion for instead of what do you do? All right. right. And because you're interested in that, you're going, it's easier for you to maintain that conversation too yes. once they answer. So awesome. Sh show up, meet people. Yes. Then what happens after that? You meet someone and, okay, that was great. I met like five people that were really had similar interests. You get their digits. I get their digits. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm maybe, not sure. Yeah, no, we, I, maybe. It's not a dating site. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Let me get your seven digits. If she's hot. The correct number. Right. No, but I'm going to, if I have a connection, I'm going to ask them for, can I follow up with you? Maybe email and we can arrange a time outside of this. If we don't have a connection, I'm not going to ask. Right. right. Why bother? And it's nice then, okay, we, we've established there's something, there's something in common, something we can talk about. There's yes. a mutual benefit. Let's take this conversation where it's not so loud, it's not so busy. We aren't going to tie each other up for the rest of the night yes. because we are here to build relationships with the other people in the room. Perfect. And so, yes, then after that, I'm going to follow up with an email, maybe a phone call and arrange that time to, to meet. But that's the thing. Follow up. Yes. Wow. How many business cards do you receive where you've called people, they never call back, you email, they never email back. You follow up with intention. Yes. And maybe even schedule the appointment right there. Hey, let's get our calendars out right now and see when we can meet with each other so that way we're intentional about it. I'll tell you, that's like probably that. been one of the, the secrets to our success mm -hmm. is the continued follow up because it's not always the first time you're going to reach out to somebody and, and have that connection. In fact, it's usually the seventh or eighth time. <laughs> but people give up after two or three times. Yes. And so it is that continued follow up. You're out, you're meeting people, you're meeting people every month. You're probably meeting a handful of people, but we continue to go to think we have to meet new people but you've got all these connections. What are you doing with it? Exactly. Why are you wasting your time? Right. Why okay. are you investing all that time? So we've got, it's Holly Claire, the social media advisor, the social media advisor.com. Um, what are some things we should avoid, Holly, when we're out networking? Okay, well, always wear deodorant, oh. right? Oh. <laughs> Have a breath mint or something. Uh, uh, avoid halitosis and the body odorisis. <laughs> Yes. Well, it, avoid being that person who's just grabbing cards to grab cards. Sure. Yep. sure. Um, talk to as many people as possible. But when you're doing it, be intentional with introductions. I have somebody that would be a great power partner for you that I know. That's one of the things that I loved about BNI and Experience Pros is when I showed up, I was intentionally invited to meet five other people before I got the opportunity to move on on my own. Mm -hmm. If you are making yourself a networker and invested in other people's relationships, then you are going to have that heart of, I want you to meet other people and not just and save just you for mean, myself. Right. Absolutely. Well, you're, absolutely. You are an incredible giver, Holly. Holly Claire, the social media advisor. She, of course, is awesome when it comes to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, content management tools. Holy cow, you do everything. She does everything. She's uh, given us some great tips and advice, too, yeah. here with the Experience Pros at Network. Holly, you've got some events that are coming up, some webinars and podcasts. Do you want to talk about those? I do. Actually, on Thursday, I have a YouTube workshop that I'm doing on online 10 30 to 11 30 you can register at the socialpro.eventbrite.com and there is listed actually all of the events coming up as well as 
Denver Entrepreneurs, or sorry, Denver Startup Week is coming up in September. So look, connect with us on Facebook and look for some announcements on that as well. Wow, love that, love that. Holly, you're always just uh, bringing so much value to to our network and now to the uh, the National Airways. We're so grateful for you. Thank you guys so much for having me. It's awesome. Absolutely. All right, so I'm not supposed to, uh, I'm not supposed to, well, I, do I put on deodorant? Well, I know this is kind of the scary thing. I have a, I have an, I'm always afraid I am that stinky girl in in this in the place. You're not the stinky because girl. Because what do we do? We drink we, coffee. We put 12 hours in. Yeah. And and all day long I'm drinking coffee or then you're drinking wine, which, you know, does terrible stuff. And and I'm not the – I don't change my clothes. I don't go home in the middle of the day. I'm like from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I just – I'm always worried girl. that I'm the stinky girl. You're not. I'm always worried. Well, don't worry. All right, folks. Uh, listen, we're going to come back with more positive business talk right after these messages. Messages. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. Finance.com. SharpNet Solutions has been optimizing websites for over 16 years, since before Google was even a company. Hi, this is Eric, and I want you to let that sink in for a moment. SharpNet Solutions has been helping hundreds of small businesses get found on the search engines since before Google became Google. They're one of the most affordable SEO firms in the country, and if you tell them Experience Pro sent you, you'll get up to 50% off of your SEO services. Still wonder if they can help you? Google experience pros we use them 303-900-4988 that's 303-900-4988 or sharpnetsolutions.com hi this is angel and i want you to picture this you're driving home after soccer practice your little girl is sitting in the back seat and the radio is gently playing your favorite music your car is your world for the moment and your world is safe because nylon's collision center wouldn't cut corners on the quality of parts when they fixed that fender bender last month N-Y-L-U-N-D-S collision.com. No one knows your car better. The safety of your whole world is in their hands. Visit nylandscollision.com or call them at 303-761-9219. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701 and tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. That moment, we arrived in the scene. 
the storm had nearly destroyed the area. This was our own community. Friends, family, people we grew up with, went to school with, we were there to help. Several of us were working to rescue a family. They made it down to the storm cellar, but the house collapsed on top of the cellar door and trapped them. We had chainsaws going, and we had these Humvees and heavy machinery to move massive trees and debris. We got them out. We helped a lot of people out. It felt good to know I could really make a difference. Right here, close to home, in my state. It was one of those life-changing moments where I realized I am making a difference in these people's lives and mine. I'm a citizen soldier in the National Guard. You can serve our time and be there the moment your community needs you. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. Wake Up is back from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Every Monday through Friday starting August 10th with your host, Steve Curtis. Right here on The Source. Your Source. 560 KLZ. We can boogie down, down a home ground. Come boogie down, down a home ground. Come boogie down. The experience pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your business day to join us for hours. Time for another business tip, and who better to talk to than Greg Bashaw? He is the executive director of the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. Hi, Greg. Welcome. Good morning, guys. Glad Greg, to be here. Greg, very nice to have you uh, along today. What are we talking about today? Well, this is tip number two from my top ten tips. After 20 years in business and six startups, these are the ten most important tips I'd give to a buddy if they ask. All right. Well, you can tune in every Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, right? It is every Tuesday. every Tuesday at ten fifty to hear the top ten tips. And if you miss any of them, of course, you can go back online and research into the podcast. Okay. What's tip number two, Greg? Okay. Tip number two is uh, think hard before hiring an employee. Consider contracting rather than hiring, at least at first. Say say that again and help okay. us understand this. Okay, so think hard before hiring an employee. So, so one of the hardest things for a tiny company to do is they get too busy or they realize they've reached a plateau and they think, okay, so what's the next step? How do I grow? I need some help, so what do I do? And so I think the obvious thing that a lot of people turn to is they say, well, I'm going to go out and I'm going to hire somebody. And, uh, and you, you soon discover as a business owner there's a lot to that. So there's payroll, there's taxes, there's workers' comp insurance, there's health insurance, there's all sorts of state and federal laws, and it can be complicated if things don't work out that uh, to part ways. And so uh, what I'm suggesting is if you're dipping your toe for the first time in, in, in getting help for your business, that you consider beginning by using a contractor, an independent contractor, rather than a full-on employee. All right. Yeah, good I advice. That. It's good advice for all those reasons that you gave. And I remember when we first started out, we started with those independent contractors. One, because do you really have enough business, right, to keep them, uh, you know, to maintain, to support somebody else's um, household um, in the beginning? And the taxes, it is, it's really easy to order an independent or to hire an independent contractor. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of rules around that one too, Greg. Yeah, there certainly are, but I think it's less. And I, even though there are rules. Greg, Greg, you are breaking up on us, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'm sorry. Start over with what you were just saying. Okay, I was just saying, y'all there, there are apply to hiring an independent contractor. I think they're far fewer and far less complicated. If you have a good independent contractor contract, uh, I think that's a good beginning. And after that... Uh, I think you do need to understand how that works, but I think there's a lot, the learning curve is a lot bigger in hiring an employee. And what it does is I think it allows you to dip your toe into, uh, into having help, going it from going it to loan and uh, having a, uh, you know, a compadre there with you and helping you build your business. Absolutely. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense. Just to make sure that you uh, obey all the laws as it relates right. to that. You do have to hire an independent contractor. You, you can't bet. hire an employee and just call them an independent contractor. Now, Greg, uh, of course, this, this goes out all across America, but you are the executive director of the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. And uh, tell our listeners what that means to, to them. 
Well, the Colorado Micro Business Alliance is a business association for businesses with 10 or fewer employees. So it only costs $5 a month, $48 a year, and we do political advocacy on their behalf. We have volume purchasing, some great deals that we're able to offer our members. And then in addition to that, we do monthly training in big, beautiful venues. And that's all for 5 bucks a month or $48 a year. All right. How do our people sign up? Colorado Micro Business Alliance dot com. Now, Greg, is, are there uh, micro business alliances for other states? So there is. Uh, there is another alliance in the state of Oregon. In fact, that's a big, bustling group with twenty thousand entity members, and uh, we just launched last month. I think we could do better here in Colorado. We have probably the best business environment in the entire country right now. Well, I love Ooh, that. How love exciting. that. Thank you so much for your tip. We appreciate you and look forward to chatting with you again next Tuesday. Very good. Thanks, guys, for having me. You bet. Hey, uh, I'm going to piggyback on that. There are a couple of business tools that I've discovered uh, that are great for uh, those micropreneurs or solopreneurs. All right. I liked how you did, he described, you know, with the small business or the micro business that it's 10 or fewer employees. Right. I think most people have no idea because really, um, for example, in the state of Colorado and probably in other states as well, small business is defined as having less than 500, 500 yeah, yeah. employees. That's not a small business anymore. Uh, it, it tends to be big business uh, at that point. But the backbone of the American economy is built on those micro businesses, if you will. So, uh, you know, you want your productivity to be up, right? You want to make sure that uh, if you're squeezed for time, you can get more out of your day, especially if you're wearing all those different hats. Try an app called Shoeboxed. Shoe box? Yeah. Ooh, does it come with shoes? Uh, no, it does not. You get to try on shoes. <laughs> no. It's like paper dolls. No, with no, shoes. no, no. Speaking of paper, though, it's a way to keep books, repeat receipts, business in digital format. So, you know, the, 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 it's a reference to the old shoe box that you used to give to your accountant. Right, right. Where everything's in there, right. not at all organized. Um, but if you need to get rid of paper, you travel a lot. Um, all right. Here's another one that's really kind of cool. 17 hats. Sound familiar? Yes. All those solopreneurs wearing those hats, right? All those hats. And, and um, you know, it, it's exhausting. I like how Greg recommended this is where you get to outsource and hire on some independent contractors. But there are also some incredible programs and software out there. 17 hats. It does everything online from sales lead to information gathering the proposal portion um, right. of, of your sales process, dealing with the contracts, and finally the invoicing and payments. And so you look like a big company. It's a CRM system, but it's designed for solos in a user-friendly way. We use all pro web tools for all of that. They pretty much take care of all of those hats off you for bet. us. You bet. And you can find them online at allprowebtools.com. And finally, uh, Shake. And it doesn't have anything to do with uh, dancing. Uh, Shake is a web and a mobile app that creates simple, legally binding agreements in seconds. It's a handy way to create uh, quick contracts for freelance jobs, but you can also use it to create all kinds of things, including non-disclosure agreements, leases, loans, sales, that kind of stuff. Interesting. Three legally, different apps. Legally binding agreements right there, just like that. Just make sure you... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell somebody the bridge. You're, you're going to what? I'm going to sell, sell you a bridge. A bridge? Yeah. Oh. You've got a legally binding contract. I think I can do that. Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't know if that works that way. You don't think so? No. Try. Let's shake see it what off. happens. Shake it off. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. Uh, you don't have to shake anything off. In fact, stay tuned because we've got a whole another hour of positive business talk coming ahead. This is Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. <laughs> This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Steve Dace. Live 1 to 3 on KLZ 560. Are you suffering from knee, shoulder, hip, or back pain? And you've just kind of given up on doing all the fun things that you love to do? Well, now there's hope. Tune in Sundays at 9.30 a.m. for Live Again, brought to you by the Premier Stem Cell Institute. You'll hear from actual patients and their success stories. Live Again, Sundays at 9.30 a.m. on KLZ 560 a.m. Brought to you by the Premier Stem Cell Institute. 
KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver. Online, streaming at klz560radio.com. KLZ 560. USA Headline News. I'm Kelly Sloan. Global markets are rebounding this morning after China's central bank cut its key interest rate. It came after a 7.6% drop in the Shanghai Stock Index yesterday. But European markets have recovered almost all of yesterday's losses. AP correspondent Joe McDonald says there is a debate over the cause of the big sell-off. There's not been any obvious trigger for the change. There was a survey released on Friday that showed that Chinese manufacturing had not done as well in August as people had expected it would, uh, but that was not considered to be particularly significant. In the last hour, the Dow has been up over 200 points. French President Francois Hollande says his country should be prepared for more attacks like the one last week on a train. It was stopped by a British man and three Americans. More information is coming out about the fourth man, Mark Magoulian, who was shot in the neck trying to subdue the assailant. He is from Virginia, but is living Living in France. This is USA Headline News. Breathe it in, kid. Every three months we install these air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are priced to save us more money. And Granger's got close to 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from, in stock and ready when we need them. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash filters or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. For over 75 years, Geico's been about consistency. As in, we've consistently helped people save money on their car insurance. And to prove it, we'll air one of our first radio commercials from over 75 years ago. At Geico, we're all about consistency. As in, we consistently help people save money on their car insurance. To prove it, you can call Geico. Call us today, call us tomorrow. Call us 75 years from now. That was way more consistent than I expected. Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. Hey, everybody, it's Eric and Angel from the Experience Pros Radio Show. Coming up next, last night was amazing. You know what we did? We went boom. We were hanging out with the business owners of Magnitude. Yes, the acronym is boom. And Eric likes to say boom. <laughs> Every time we say it, it's our monthly networking event for our friends over in the Westminster side of town. Every month, check us out on either the 4th or 5th uh, Monday. You can find all of that on our Experience Pros calendar, experiencepros.com. Click on the calendar, uh, calendar tab, or scroll down until you see the calendar and see all the fun events that we've got coming up for you, including the ribbon cutting this afternoon. That's today. That's today for the James Resource Network at Complete Couture which is formal bridal gowns, formal formal wear. All my formal wear comes from the James Resource Network, and we're cutting the ribbon at, from 4 to 6 p.m. today. I've got my formal shoes on. you got your formal shoes? Yes, ma'am. Then guess what happens on Thursday? We're going to have a social media webinar because Holly Claire, the social media advisor, she knows everything about social media. She's going to teach us how to learn. She's going to teach us how to learn to use <laughs> YouTube for business. Absolutely. That's at 1030 in the morning and it's a webinar. So anywhere you are at, you can check into that on August 27th, which is the day of the extravaganza, Woo! the Loveland Vendor Fair that's going on at the Ranch Event Center in Loveland. Of course, we've been talking about it all summer long, pretty much all year long since last year's event. And um, that's going on in Broth. It's going to be another ribbon cutting. For our friends over at the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. You, of course, listen to them every Tuesday here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Come celebrate their brand new their brand new business and cut the ribbon at 1 o'clock at the Ranch Event Center in Loveland as we kick off the big extravaganza event. Then, of course, on Friday morning, it's Fan Bragging Friday. You need to call in and say something nice about somebody in business. It's called a fan brag. It's good for your business. And it's good for them as well. And then that night on Friday, Parents Night Out brought to you by our friends over at ATA Family Martial Arts going on from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. The kids are going to play dodgeball, which means you're going to go out and have a night out without the kids. And when you pick them up, they're going to be exhausted. Sign up with ATA Family Martial Arts. I can't remember the last time I played dodgeball. Well, Will they let me? No, no, no. I, I but, don't think so. But I'm a kid. You are. You are. I was somebody's kid. You are still somebody's kid. Yeah. Um, I no. got no, no response How about to that. on the weekend? I'm, I'm thinking about going to the teen workshop. 
That's finding your identity through knowing yourself. Our friend Phyllis Shimamoto is putting that on uh, at the Castlewood Library in Centennial. Absolutely. That's August 29th. Check that out on the Experience Pros calendar and round out your weekend with a Social 7 podcast at 7 p.m. on Sunday night, budgeting for ads in social media. And as you can hear, Every single day, there is something going on in the Experience Pros Network, and we don't want you to miss a thing. No. So make sure you subscribe to the Experience Pros calendar. It it syncs with whatever calendar you're using. We How about use your Google, iPhone calendar? My iPhone calendar, and I made it a different color. What about your Android calendar? I never miss a thing. It, make, it, it, it I, syncs I assume, with everything. I assume it, it, well, it, it does. syncs with your Android. Yeah, because that's the Google side. Well, then there, yes. It's, it's Did happy. I already say that? All right. Okay. We'll see you guys soon. Boom. Hi, this is Scott Watley. Join me weekdays from noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. We'll help with consumer problems, give you quality business referrals, let you know about the latest scams, and we'll also give great help for seniors. Weekdays, noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. Check out our website, haystackhelpradio.com. Rush to Reason with John Rush. This afternoon at three. Now back to the Experience Pros on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of Lists That Save My Business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. How you doing? Well, I'm just doing fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. You know, uh, it, I, I find it interesting. I, I troll the internet for all kinds of cool stuff going on. Did you, did you know that? I do. I do know that you you are a troll on the internet. No, not a troll. I'm, no, not, no. I'm not a troll. <laughs> just troll the verb. Uh, the verb, not the noun. I want to. I want to give a shout out to our friends in Jacksonville. They got a B for solid small business climate. A B. Yeah. Like a like a bumblebee. No, like the letter B. The a grade. A grade. Oh. It's, it's small business friendliness. It is the thirty second best city in the United States to have a small business, according to Thumbtack.com. Okay, so somebody gave grades A's, B's, yeah. C's, mm -hmm. D's, and F's. Right. And Jacksonville. Got Jacksonville it. did well. I just I thought it was pretty good. They've improved over the past few years. They moved from a C minus in twenty twelve to a B in twenty fifteen. All right, it's good stuff. Moving on up. Right. All right. So, what did they do to improve their score? Well, they they, they became friendly. They became friendly. Yeah. So they weren't so welcome friendly. Welcome to Jacksonville. They put up a sign. Yeah. We are now saying welcome. Right. And they and that moves them up from mm -hmm. a C minus to a B grade because now there's friendly signs. I mean, what have you now, done? That's a good start, right? Do you have a welcome sign in your business? Are you excited? That we have a welcome sign. We do have a welcome sign. If people come into our business and it says welcome, and we write their name on the board. And then it says we celebrate you. It does. Yeah. Right. All right. I like that. Okay. So well, maybe we'll get a B. Well, that's worth an A. Oh, is that worth the A? Well, we they write their names. Oh, we write their names. Right. Okay. So, so the welcome sign will get you a B. Yeah. And because it's just it's generic. It. You know, welcome you. A personal. Hey you, welcome. Personalizing it gets it. You know, I once DNA. I once drove into Texas, uh, and and I used to be a magician, so I would tour all over the country. And when you cross the border, this was many years ago, maybe twenty years ago. I don't know if they're still using the, the same thing or not now. But you cross the border in Texas, and uh, it says, uh, "Welcome to Texas. Drive friendly, the Texas way." All right, that'll get him a B uh, on the uh, at least if I'm so tracking, right? Give me a warm fuzzy. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome the friendly way. Ten, uh, ten feet down the road, there's another sign that says "Don't mess with Texas." So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with them. Don't mess with it. You you got the rules. Draw friendly. Yeah. Draw friendly you here now. Yeah. No, actually, I don't, Do I don't you, know who says that. New Hampshire, uh, Manchester, New Hampshire was topped uh, top the list of. Uh, the top 10 thumbtack.com uh, most friendliest cities. Okay, so the most, the top three states were Texas, New Hampshire, and Utah. 
for being um, the best small business state, the wow. finalist in small business. And of course, there's always there's always somebody down at the bottom. But you know, they've got they've got a way to. Can we talk about that? They can move it up. Put a welcome sign up. Put a welcome sign. Put up. a welcome sign. Yeah. Personalize it. There's got to be more that they did um, to show some friendliness. But um, but of course, who knows what. Who knows what they're I, doing? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Go I into didn't detail. read the whole article. I just, read the whole the article. It doesn't go into that. Just had. You just had the headline. Hmm. Hmm. I, you know, out of all the states that you picked, you know, to talk about, you know, you picked Florida. I could help the thirty second. It, that's the one that was in the news. Well, that's that's the one who wrote the press release and is doing marketing. <laughs> Maybe. That's how there's you get. Your, there's, there's your tip. clue. There's a tip Do there. Do the press release. Press releases and get some marketing about your story. And if it leads, it talk reads. About it as well. Because here's the thing. How exciting is that? They didn't get an A. They weren't even in the top three. But who are we talking about? The one that's marketing their business and letting people know that they're improving and what they're doing, um, and what they're doing in the community. I think we should talk to our next guest. You think we should? Yeah. Well, it is. We're going to swing on over and do some business tips and insights with our friend Sandy Corrigan with Keller Williams. This segment is sponsored by Prospect Mortgage. Sandy, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you. Sandy, how are you today? I am back from Texas. You, did you did you drive? Did you fly? I, I flew. You flew. Did you and see the signs up I, in the sky? I got a, I got, I'll have to do a fan brag on Friday for oh. Delta because I left my phone on the plane and they found it. So oh. I'll do that on Friday. Oh. Nice. But I want to talk to you guys about change, embracing change, because you're not experiencing any change, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. And people are teasing me, Sandy, because they're saying, well, Angel, you asked for it. This is what you've been working for. I know that I have, but that doesn't necessarily mean I was prepared for it. But no it feels great, right? <laughs> In fact, change is always great if you're the one creating it. Not the one having it <laughs> Not done on the on you, right? end of it, right? Well, I have four quick tips. Okay. And I think that, you know, change ought to just be something we embrace because it's not going to you know, we're not going to live in a world where it's not changing, right? right? right. right. I mean, change is just inevitable. Yep. So my first tip is to stay calm. You know, yes. I need one of those t-shirts that say stay calm right. and embrace change. Maybe yes. I'll create one of right. those, right? Like because that. then I don't have as much resistance. Right. 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 Embrace change it. is coming. So yes. stay calm. My coach always says everything's perfect. You're a leader, you're a business owner. So you wake up in the morning and we expect you to solve problems and find solutions. So expect change. Expect it. The second one is you need to step into the wind. What? You need to step into the wind like a sailboat. So if a sailboat sits in a water and there's no wind, you're not going anywhere, right? The right. little rudder is not going to move you. Right. It's when the wind comes, which is the force of resistance or the obstacle that actually gets the boat moving. But Sammy, I've discovered that sometimes the wind just blows. Well, you just have to furl your sail and right. capture it so that you're moving forward. All right. All right so step, so into, step into the, the wind, wind. Step which is, into the change. Which is pushing against you in yes. many cases. Yeah. And you got to step into it for you to keep moving and have momentum. All right. Okay. The third one is make time on your schedule to think. Um, I may be at a disability here. So you're not. <laughs> and this is around getting getting away. Like even a couple hours every single week. One thing I, I love about Gary Keller, you know, the founder of Keller Williams is that he has time on his schedule every week that's just thinking time. Not with anyone, not reading anything, not listening to anything, just simply thinking because it allows the creative and the wisdom from and he other actually places schedules to come. that. Yeah, schedules it and then follows the schedule relentlessly. And it, you know, it's an appointment. So of yes. course I can't do anything with you on Thursday at two. I have an appointment yep. at that. And you time. leave your phone in the car or somewhere. Nobody can find you. And you're just and you just think. Have you, you tried that? Still. Do, you, do yes. you do that, Sandy? And it's amazing what solutions come to you that you hadn't considered when you can get quiet and just think. And you're just thinking about nothing in particular, or are you trying to solve a problem? Either one. Okay. Or both. All right. Right? So you're letting solutions come to you to quietly with an issue you've been facing or an obstacle to find that there's a lot inside that can come right out of you. It's in the quiet that it shows up because all the noise, all the distractions, of course we can't problem solve because we're thinking on our feet and we're reacting. I I think I'm, I could really get into that. Um, just knowing, but you've, you've scheduled some time, you've made it a priority, you know that change is coming and you don't have to run around with your hair on fire. You've prepared for it. Exactly. I think that's why some of the some of the leaders that you follow, they're not scatterbrained. Right. They're not they're not disarrayed. They're they've got it they've got it pulled together because it's very intentional. 
Yes. And the fourth one is don't go it alone. Mm -hmm. So we live in Colorado, right? The independent cowboy state. Mm -hmm. We see it all the time, that pioneering spirit. I think it's across our country. And yet we aren't even wired to do it by ourselves. Yeah. And if you think about, um, I grew up in Wisconsin, so I actually learned to sail on some pretty big lakes, never on the ocean. On the little lake I grew up on, I could sail a small sailboat by myself. But as soon as I got to something bigger, I needed a crew. Otherwise, yeah. I was going to create chaos and kill myself, basically. Right. And so it's just like that in business is we've got to ask for help. It's refreshing to have an outside perspective, especially from somebody who isn't in the day to day that yes. doesn't know our business. Yes. And so I really, you know, want you to take that to heart and say, what coach do you need? What colleague? What mentors? You know, who can you bring into your life that can help you keep moving forward? Who can be part of your crew? You know, and Sandy, when you come into the studio like this, I just, I, there's such a peace that comes with you and even in the midst of change and boy howdy are we in the midst of it right i mean not, not just us but all of us are dealing with it and i think you're actually walking what you talk well i'm working at it I, doing I said how's my schedule doing you know and looking at especially that time I've yeah. missed a couple weeks of those, if I'm honest and transparent. And you probably have not feel it. taken the time to think. And last night, I just took several hours to just do that. And that definitely helped help me wake up with more peace this morning. So. That makes such a big difference. <laughs> well, for our listeners who want to bring on part of, you know, have Sandy, you know, have you as part of their crew, maybe as a mentor, a guide, and, and just be a part of that team where you're not doing it alone, what is the best way for, for our listeners to get so, into yes, you, So yes, if you're looking at a career in real estate, building wealth through real estate, real estate questions in general, give me a call. Easiest place to find me is text me or call me at 303-907-1010. Again, 303-907-1010. Or you can find me on Facebook at Sandra Corrigan or on Twitter at Sandra Corrigan and love to connect. She's okay. all over and she is there to help you. Sandra Corrigan with Keller Williams. Of course, this segment brought to you by um, Prospect Mortgage. Sandy, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. Absolutely. Hey, uh, folks, you may want to make sure that you uh, do what we always advise. Turn up the volume and do business with the people who do business with the pros. We're so grateful for our national sponsors who make this product possible every single day. Back after this. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Ugh, computers. We can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval, and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at binkleyit.com. Boom. That's what you're looking for out of your professional networking events, and that's what Boom delivers. Create great business relations and build power partner connections the fourth or fifth Monday of the month at Bar Louie in Westminster from 6 to 8 p.m. Every event is sold out, so get your tickets for the next one today at BoomColorado.com. That's BoomColorado.com. Want more? How about quarterly training seminars? Boom! Network with great people. BoomColorado.com. Dude, your wife's hot. I know, right? I'm not kidding. She's really hot. Yeah, I married up. I'm trying to tell you, your wife's hot. Will someone please call Bowman Heating and Air? It's 90 degrees in here. Don't let anyone else tell you how hot your wife is. Call Bowman Heating and Air today. 303-622-6502. Bowman Heating and Air. Keeping couples together and relationships cool. Ask about the preventative maintenance option with a 100% mechanical guarantee. BowmanHVAC.com. 
get your vehicle back in the showroom condition with the most comprehensive auto detail from Bumper Dock Denver. They remove tree sap and pollutants from your car's painted surfaces, minor scratches are cleaned up with a high-speed polish, and the glaze finish is applied to restore a deep shine. Bumper Dock Denver understands that your vehicle is more than just a mode of transportation, it reflects your business. No matter what you drive, you get fast, friendly, honest service to protect your auto investment and bring out the full beauty of your car. 303-369-7292 or BumperDocDenver.com. When your IT person says, your VPN's PPTP failed because the IP conflict caused a protocol failure, all you seem to hear is, blah, blah, money, money, blah, blah, last time. We're C-squared computer consulting. We speak geek fluently, but we translate when talking to you. When you understand the issues, you can better prioritize your money and time. Our managed services provide a stable spending model with system monitoring and trust. Call C-squared computer consulting today at 303-933-1113 or go to c2cc.net. With a rising health cost, unplanned chronic illness, and people living longer, your retirement planning is more important than ever. Many business owners aren't even covered. Talk about it with someone you trust. Call me today and let's explore what is the best answer for you. 720-356-6474. 720-356-6474. This is Jim Smith with Prudential. Tune in every Monday morning for more tips at 1135 right here on the Experience Pros Radio. Video show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. I'll be the light, your match, your sun, and sun, I'll be the bright. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to tune in today. Uh, it's time for business tips and insights from our good friend Jack. Now you know Jack Loudon, right? With Riviera Finance. Riviera Finance. Well, we always say, if you don't know Riviera Finance, you don't know Jack. Jack, welcome to the show. Hey guys, how are you? How are you doing this morning? We're fantastic, Jack. Thank you so much for calling in. What's uh, what's the tip for today? Hey, you know, I wanted to talk about um, cash flow and um, remind business owners that they really need to, to watch it and be aware and. Um, look at their accounts receivables. Do you have an aging report? Are you aware where your cash flow needs are? Um, and the reason for this is I got a call today actually from a from a uh, a prospect that wanted to talk about getting funded today. And then there's no application yet. We hadn't even talked to them about what type of company they are, and and that really is. I mean, it puts them in kind of desperate situation. Now I just want to remind companies and business owners out there that. You know, be aware of your situation and, and where your cash flow is and, and um, do some thought. You know, if you look at it, give us a call if you, if you need some help or you know, under no obligation. But don't wait until the last minute and have an aging report um, on your system of how old are your, your invoices. Are they 30, 60, 90? When did you get paid? Really track your cash flow that way. Jack, let's uh, let's take one step back and, and for the audience, let them know. Uh, what kind of, of solution Riviera Finance provides in a cash flow crutch? Well, what Riviera Finance does is we will uh, basically buy the invoices, the, the, your, your current out, um, accounts receivables that you have out there that are 30 days, 60 days old, and you're just waiting to get paid. We will um, advance you uh, up to 93% of that invoice um, immediately. That way, and then we wait to get paid. And then we also take the credit risk. We'll run a credit check on their clients from, uh, you know, Dun & Bradstreet. And uh, if we accept the credit risk, if we don't get paid back because of a credit problem, then we just eat the loss. So you take the risk on, and when you work with Riviera Finance, it actually helps you improve your best business practices when it comes to cash flow. He's talking about having an aging report. They are doing a credit report, a credit check on the clients because you're essentially giving them an unsecured loan by allowing them to go 30, 60, 90 days. And what do you say? You say, Jack, even you know, a 30-day invoice turns into 45 days and 45 turns into 60. They're just slow to pay, but we can't afford to wait. Exactly. And sometimes they're slow to pay, not because they mean to. It's somebody went on vacation in the accounts payable department. Or uh, and and that doesn't that affects the business, but not doesn't affect them so much. 
you know, but it, it can certainly affect a small business owner if they're waiting and they're expecting that check in the mail or, or the uh, direct deposit, however they're going to get paid, because they need to operate their business. Well, now, you know, it's, it's a good, good, solid advice to, to make sure that they get the deduction in a row before they give a call. And, uh, Jack, your uh, Riviera Finance is uh, nationwide. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, we have eight different operations offices around the country, and then we have we work in um, all 50 states, um, including Canada. Love that. So no matter where you are, if you are hearing Jack's voice, he can help you with your cash flow. The toll-free number is 800-872-7484, 800-872-7484. Jack, if any of our friends in Colorado are listening and they want to get in touch with you, what's the best number to reach you? Yeah, my territory is basically um, the western half of the United States. They can call me directly at 303 409 Seven seven zero six. That's three zero three four zero nine seven seven zero six. Is my office number. If I'm not in the office, it forwards to myself. So um, I'm always available. Love it. Love R- it. Riviera Finance. We love having Riviera Finance as a resource for our business owners. You need cash. You need a Riviera Finance, 800-872-7484. If you don't know Riviera Finance. You don't know Jack. Jack, thanks so much for being on with us today. Thanks, guys. Now we're going to turn our attention over to our business coach extraordinaire. You know her. You love her. It's Carrie Connolly from Infinite Nation. Hi, Carrie. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? We're just doing fantastic. fantastic. What are we talking about? You know, I just had an amazing weekend retreat with the people that I coach. And one of the things we talked about that's super important is becoming a really solid leader in your personal life and in your business life. Um, you know, we talked about a lot of qualities that, I'm, that we really have to, you know, personally look at, look at ourselves in the mirror and say, okay, I need to kind of get better at that so that I can influence people easier, attract clients faster. And so I thought I would just give kind of the top three from the list. Is that okay with you guys? Absolutely. We'd love to hear them. Okay. Number one, and this is, a, this is one of those ouch kind of things. You have to be absolutely consistent in your personal life and in your business activity. It is so hard for people to do that. You know, they get. Do, do you mean that we have to like uh, be, be the same on, on both sides of the equation? I mean, I've got a Facebook personal profile and I got a Facebook business profile. You know, it, it does have to do with profile, but it also has to do with how you're showing up. So what I mean by being consistent is, uh, you know, uh, we talk a lot about networking as a small business owner, right? And there are a lot of events that we go to every month to build that reputation. What I see a lot of business owners sometimes do, especially in the beginning, is that they get really excited about going one month and then they might not show up for another two months. Right. Right. So they're very inconsistent with their, um, their reputation takes a hit because they're now um, sending out a message that they only show up when they're looking for clients and they're not necessarily a team player. Gotcha. Okay. So consistency is number one. What's the next one, Carrie? Number two is learning how to manage your thoughts, your actions, and most importantly, your emotions. So many of us have days, you know, you just have those days where you're kind of in a funk, you're a little bit tired, you're just not feeling it, and so you decide, again, to go a little MIA for a while, or you decide to act on the emotion, or maybe say something you shouldn't have said, um, or just absolutely unplug from your activity. And I think the best thing I learned early on in my first um, career was how to learn how to manage my emotions so that it doesn't drive my activity. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Right? Stuff. That's just smart because, yeah, your emotions are going to take the best out of you and your business will suffer for it. All right. What's number exactly. three, Carrie? Number three, and you know, this is my whole thing. My whole reputation is around having a vision. You've got to have a plan, Stan. Amen. And I mean, not just rolling around in your head. I kind of got this thing going on. I mean, who wants to follow a wishy washy leader that says, hey, I'm kind of trying this business out. (laughs) Yeah, nobody wants to pay for your hobby. Right. You need to be able to look people in the face and say, this is exactly who I am. This is what I stand for. This is where I'm going. I have a plan mapped out. Who wants to come with me? That's leadership. Well, and that's what you get when you work with Infinite Nation. Carrie, how do our listeners get in touch with you? Best way is to go to my website, infinitenation.com infinitenation.com Ch- sign up for some of her upcoming events check out her mastermind group and then make sure you put the date of january 14th 
15th through 16th in your calendar to join us in Phoenix for Vision is a Victory. Carrie, thanks so much for being our guest today. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You know, we will have a good day. That's the truth. We love uh, getting getting Carrie, uh, having Carrie get us in line. We love that a lot. Um, you know, I, I like this segment because uh, you get Jack, you get Carrie, and now you get the pros. It's all good. It it's is. everything you need to grow your business. Do business with the folks that support the Experience Pros radio show. They're the reason we are on the air, and they're here to help you grow your business. They are the resources that you need. They've been handpicked by us. When we come back, seven easy ideas to improve your blog next. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Over 400,000 businesses in Colorado have less than 10 employees. Your business probably fits into that category. Imagine what would be accomplished if everyone joined forces. The Colorado Micro Business Alliance brings owners together to give you a unified voice in state and local politics, as well as helps negotiate better deals for products and services. They offer top level seminars and networking events. Join now for only $5 a month at Colorado Micro Business Alliance. Com. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place for finding the companies who have the best customer testimonials. Plus, to make it even easier, we narrow down the field to only three companies in your area. If you need a printer in the metro area, we have it. If you need ink and toner, we have it. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is one of the most visited directories in the state, and it's all yours to view for free at experiencepros.com. Experiencepros.com for the best in customer service. When you're looking for the best, think Experience Pros. You can feel good about doing business with the pros. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Friends, this is Eric, and I want to turn you on to a fantastic bi-monthly patriotic newsletter I've discovered. It's called The Pen, and it's a compilation of numerous patriotic writers packed with political information that you won't find in the newspaper. Contact my friend Beth Ann for a free sample copy at csctalkradio.com or send $24.95 to P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018 to receive the pen for an entire year. The Pen. Promoting liberty and keeping patriots informed. Subscribe today. CSCTalkRadio.com. That's CSCTalkRadio.com. Dove Valley Storage has your affordable storage solutions for RVs, boats, cars, or construction equipment. Covered units you can own or rent at unbelievable prices. There's no other product like this in Colorado, and they're offering them at a fraction of the price of owning an RV garage or man cave. Hurry and call Kim today. They're going fast for fall delivery. 720-201-4062. That's 720-201-4062. Or check them out online, DoveValleyStorage.com. They've got you covered. You're busy, but are you really achieving the dreams you thought you would? Infinite Nation knows that when your vision is big enough, you can create infinite success. Request your free vision check phone call with award-winning vision coach, Carrie Conley. Discover how easy it is to achieve your infinite success. Call 720-331-8693, 720-331-8693, and check out the Vision is Victory workshop online at infinitenation.com. If you rely on networking to build your business, you need Renovate. If you are sick of wasting your time cold calling to find a few, you need Renovate. Extreme Relationship Management will help you renovate. Renovate is revolutionary training that elevates your not working and supercharges your networking to get real results. Sign up for the next Renovate training this week at extremerelationshipmanagement.com or call 855-I-LIKE-ERM. You need Renovate. Do you wish your career was moving along a different path? 
Do you ever feel like your business owns you when it should be the other way around? Do you feel like this isn't the life you thought you'd be living? You're not alone. Sandy Corgan has a system that helps people create careers worth having, businesses worth owning, that result in lives worth living. Call or text Sandy Corrigan today at 303-907-1010. That's 303-907-1010. It's worth the phone call. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Wake Up is back from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. with your host, Steve Curtis, right here on The Source, your source, 560 KLZ. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you again for taking time out of your business day to join us for hours. Hey, if you're not blogging for your business, Mandy Edwards says you're missing out. She says you're missing out by publishing fresh new content on a consistent basis. You'll give people a reason to come back and visit your site. The more people to your site means more traffic, which means more opportunity to convert them into loyal fans and then one day into customers. It's all about that visibility. And uh, so we, uh, we thought we would share with you a few ideas, a few tips that are easy to implement in order to boost your blog. And think about the blogs that you visit regularly, um, repeatedly, that you share, that you tell others about, and see if they fit this model. Do they use some of these pieces as well? And how easy it is for you to implement into your own blog. Idea number one, add click to tweet. Click to tweet? What click is that? Click to tweet. It's a great site and plugin that you can use to make lines or points that you want to make tweetable. It gives your readers, readers an easy way to share your blog post with just a little snippet from the blog post. Yeah, it's it's really kind of cool because what it does is gives you just that uh, a little bold outtake, right? And says, tweet this. Tweet this. And you do. And and, and you do because they made it so easy for me to tweet right? this. And we're always trying to figure out, well, what should we be tweeting? And you go to somebody's site and they say, tweet this. I'm going to tweet that. And you tweet it and you click to tweet. And how easy is that? Idea number two. Display your social shares. You need social proof uh, that's going to help your m content marketing, right? So how many people click to share this with the Facebook or the Twitter or, you know, the, the Google uh, is, is kind of an important piece. Well, think about that. They want to see how many times other people have shared your content. Right? Should I share this? Do I want to share it too? Am I like the first one or nobody's sharing it? Maybe there's a reason nobody's sharing it. Content worth sharing gets shared. But if, it, if we see that other people are sharing it, and so it's kind of this double thing. It's good content, yep, but other people and social influencers, and it's being shared a lot. All right, I want to get on that bandwagon, right. and I'm going to share it too. And so they look at the number of social shares. Social, social shares. Can you say that? Not very, not very well. Social shares when determining the content. Um, if you get um, a lot of times if somebody wants to approach you about your website or your socialness, they're going to look at how often uh, what your social share numbers are before Absolutely. deciding if they're going to work with you. The third one is this, uh, add a call to action. It, you know, this is an important piece that I think many people either abuse because they, you know, buy now, buy now, buy now, or they completely neglect. It should be something, right? Something at the end of the post. Comment, share your thoughts. Tell me how you use this or what you do in your business. Sign up for the email or, you know, here for, you know, here's the quick tips, but I have a full, you know, white paper or webinar on the, in, you know, in length and come and hang out with me for that. Um, but, you know, sometimes we just give us something. What do we do next? Or do we just leave your site? Yeah, and many people do just leave the site. So throw in some thought into a call to action. I think you're going to like this next one. Idea number four, 
use lists. 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 Yeah, you know, we wrote lists that save my business, which is all a you know easy to use checklist for growing your small business. But even your blogs, they say use lists and even infographics because it makes longer posts easier to read. And of course, if there's a lot of information, the infographics are a great way to display a lot of information in an easy to view format. You know, breaking it up into the list of bullet points keeps uh, people reading on. And if you want to be like a guest expert on the Experience Pros Radio Show or uh, if you want your blogs to be re read more often, start uh, making posts that say, you know, something like the top 10 ways or, uh, you know, top five things to avoid. Those kinds of things will inevitably get you picked up. Well, think about the kind of things you're Googling, you're searching for, right? I want to know the top ways to grow my business. Things to, you know, top that's, 10 interview questions. That's not what I Google. What do you Google? No. No, I'm just saying I didn't Google that. Well, what did you Google? I can't tell you about what I Googled. Then why did you bring it up? Because I did, well, I was just, I was answering your question. So if you don't, if you don't look for the top ways to do this stuff for business and you want right. to share that you don't, then, but you don't want to share that you don't. So why let's go on to idea that? number five. I don't know that I was done with idea number four. Aren't you? Oh, it's more about lists. I am now. Oh. I am now right. because now I think I think if we can get a visual of what Eric Google then no, no, he's no. using idea number no. five. We don't want to use include images. <laughs> a pinnable image. A pinnable Im so image. So what you need is a pin up. Uh, <laughs> it really came out wrong, didn't it? No, no, uh, I think it came out just exactly uh, as no, it should no, have. No, no, no. Right? You, but the, the you Pinterest, threw it out there. The Pinterest is still big for business. And, uh, you know, if you don't use the Pinterest, um, how about the uh, Instagram? I use that now. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday we were talking and we were just having this conversation. And I said something and, and Eric responded. He said, that sounded dirty. I said, no, only to you. No. Only to you. Uh -uh. It did, because it wasn't to anybody else. Only to you. Look, if you're trying to make some images for uh, Pinterest or, uh, or or Instagram or any of the other social media sites, check out a couple of different programs. There's one called Canva. That's the one that I use. Uh, or PicMonkey. Yes, it's PicMonkey. And uh, they help you with uh, some, some quick design. Well, because it is, you know, it's the pictures that bring your attraction. You know, look at magazines and how they do that. And um, anything visual, how they grab your attention. You know, you can say top ways to improve. But when you have a fun little picture that shows it as well, you just tend to engage it a little easier. Absolutely. And again, because it's pinnable, you know, kind of like the click to tweet, you'll share it with your Pinterest friends. We certainly hope so. How about this linking to influencers? You know, there's always people that we esteem, always people who are, uh, you know, be better at something than we are. Connect to them, link with them, share with them, share their product or service or whatever it is they're doing. And guess what? Bing, bang, bong, you're winning. My favorite thing when people are struggling with what do I talk about on social media and what do I share? I always recommend Promote somebody else. Yeah. Share what other people are talking about. And even this, when you're talking about influencers, you know, what are they sharing? You take an article that's, that somebody you follow or you like their their topic and add your, your two cents to it. This is how I think or this is how I'm using this or this is how this changed my business or how I've implemented it. And you can add to it. But I always think that anytime on social media, if you can promote somebody else, share other people's stuff where you go, your brand follows. Your brand is tagged right along with you it. Bet. We actually ended up getting a client one time who hired us because of a blog of an article that we shared. We didn't write it. We just shared it. Right. But we liked what it had to say. It matched our brand. And, you know, and a lot of times somebody else says it better than you could say yourself, right? We get ourselves all tongue-tied and caught up in things. And so taking the idea and promoting other people, linking to them is always good practice if you're looking to find some of those people you might want to go on any one of the social platforms and use the hashtag influencer you can actually find them they 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 identify themselves they do absolutely i am an influencer well if you've been given like the forbes uh 5000 uh oh, okay. top influencer rating yeah, you, uh, you wear that like a badge yeah you do mm -hmm. absolutely idea number seven make sure your content is something people would want to 
share. This is one of those things that gets in the filed under so simple as to be profound. Yeah, she says maybe this isn't so much of an idea as it is a rule of thumb. Good quality content get shared. That's what needs to be published. Make sure whatever you're publishing isn't just a quick little hack job with spelling errors and grammar issues, that it's fully thought out, a well thought out, and that it's not a rant but actually um, good stuff. She says, in the age of content shock, fluff content won't cut it. So making sure that the title, the content matches the title. You don't just have some, you know, fun, grab me title, right? That things you should never do in your business and then not have anything really to back it up. No, no, you better back it up. Absolutely. Um, so if you are incorporating, if you're doing anything with blogs, and here's how Here's how the writer of this blog, remember we said it should have pictures, a pinnable picture, it does. Yep. Clickable, click to tweet in the article, it does. Her shares, 479 shares, all her little social media buttons are on there. And the call to action, she says any writer can incorporate these seven, these seven easy ideas into their blog. If you were writing a list of ideas like this, what else would you include? Share with me below. And so she's giving you the opportunity, a call to action to that. engage and connect. She also has some influencers probably clicked on and share, you know, featured in here as well. And so she, she's walking the walk, right? Not just, not just saying, Hey, do as I do. Um, but he, or do as I say, but actually do as I do. And this is Mandy Edwards. She's the owner and social media strategist at M.E. Marketing Services. M.E. Marketing Services, a company located in Georgia. In Georgia. Yeah, All and right. she was actually recently named as one of the top 100 social media power influencers in 2015 by Stat Social. I love that. All right. Well, so, thank you very so much, again, Mandy. Good stuff, you know, and and then you see all the people that are looking to to add and go on and how it gets shared. And then, of course, it gets picked up here on the show. They're engaged. All right, folks, when we come back, we're going to wrap this thing up talking about the best and worst parts of being a small business owner. That's next on the Experience Pros. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You've got a great business, lots of customers, and a catchy tagline. Things are going great, right? Has it ever occurred to you that if you are doing so well in your business, someone else might be trying to copy or steal your concept and make it their own? It happens every day. But don't let it happen to you. You need attorney Steve Replin on your side. Much more than just a lawyer, Steve is a business consultant who knows how to protect what's yours while helping you grow it to success. Call Steve today and CYA. That's cover your assets. 303-322-7900. 303-322-7919. Hi, this is Angel, and I want you to picture this. You're driving home after soccer practice. Your little girl is sitting in the back seat, and the radio is gently playing your favorite music. Your car is your world for the moment, and your world is safe because Nylon's Collision Center wouldn't cut corners on the quality of parts when they fixed that fender bender last month. N-Y-L-U-N-D-S collision.com. No one knows your car better. The safety of your whole world is in their hands. Visit nylandscollision.com or call them at 303-761-9219. Attention business owners. If you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit rivierafinance.com. The top five search results get 75% of all the clicks. 75%. That means if you're on page two, you are missing out on tons of potential business. You, my friend, are in need of professional help. At SharpNet Solutions, it's not all about clicks. It's about making sales. They optimize the Experience Pro's Extreme Customer Service Directory, and they can optimize your business. Call them today, 303-900-4988. That's 303-900-4988. Or find them online at sharpnetsolutions.com. Put their talents to work and see what they can do for you. 303-900-4988. Mention the experience pros and get up to 50% off. Call today. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. 
Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701. And tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. I remember, the- I remember the moment. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. A storage tank ruptured, and for miles, the chemicals were pushing up against the riverbanks. This was a big, big deal, and it was going to have a serious impact on communities up and down the river. I remember the moment this local guy came up to me and said, they call the guard out for this stuff? You probably thought we were all about hurricanes, tornadoes, fighting Mother Nature. Hey, it's a chemical spill. It's a disaster. It affects the water supply, threatens wildlife. We're talking about the health of entire communities and people's livelihoods. You bet we're ready for these kinds of things. We were out there with booms to prevent the spill from expanding. We're responsible for protecting and monitoring the sensitive wetlands. I also remember the moment that same guy came up to me and said, I don't know what we would have done if they hadn't called the guard up. Learn more about how you can protect your friends, families, neighbors, and the environment. Everything that makes up your community. Go to NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We figure we'd end this hour with uh, both some inspiration and maybe a word of warning uh, about being a small business owner. You see, because it's not always cake and easy stuff it's not always hard it's not it's not this article brought to you by uh, nfib the protecting the future of small business the national federation of independent businesses and uh the author is faria ali and interestingly enough comes in the form of an infographic which makes it easy for me to read well, they're talking about the trials and triumphs of what it takes to be a small business owner. What are people sacrificing in order to run their business? And what are the things that absolutely make it all worth it? And so t- taking from business owners to put together some of the major sacrifices that when people responded to this that small business owners make. If the shoe fits, wear it. 56% feel like I can never be away from my business as if they're, the business actually owns them. Yeah, and, and right there next to the 56% is 51% who feel like they don't have any time to focus on themselves anymore. Well, they're not taking Sandy's advice. Sandy Corrigan from Keller Williams talking about scheduling time every week just to think. Right. And so not having enough time to focus on over half say that they don't have that time. They're not putting that in their calendar. This next statistic surprises me because I would have thought it would be much larger. I used to be in this category. 43% are not taking a vacation. Hello. Eric had gone 12 years. <laughs> 12 years. Yeah, we're done with that now because every year at the end of April, we invite you, our listeners, yes, get ready, to go to Cancun with us. Yep, always at the end of April. Exact dates will come at you, but um, open to all of you to come with us. We broadcast live from Cancun. Eric now goes on vacation every year. I take one about every 12 weeks. That's um, true. Forty-one percent say that all my money is tied up in my business. I'm also surprised that that's not a larger number. 
Another 40% say not seeing my family and friends as much as I like is another sacrifice that they make. Now, here are some of the challenges. In fact, the biggest challenges that uh, small business owners face. Um, the biggest one, of course, by an overwhelming margin, almost two to one, 43% people believe they're just wearing too many hats. Right. And now we see that. You're sure. doing everything. It all falls on your shoulders. You haven't outsourced. You haven't hired independent contractors. Our friend Sabina Claus says, you know, how do, how do you eat an elephant? And of course, that's what our business is, an elephant, right? Right. One bite at a time is what most of us think. So we wear all the hats. And she says, no. no, you invite the village and you share the feast. Otherwise, that whole carcass thing is going to rot. Yeah, you don't want to rot an elephant. It's, it's not so good. Another one of the challenges that 20% of business owners face is writing out tough economic times. And boy, many of us can say amen to that, right? Absolutely. And I would imagine even though only 10% say they, they have a, a tough time hiring and managing staff, that actually seems kind of low. I think that is low. Those are uh, the 10% that have staff. The rest of them are, are solopreneurs, micropreneurs. Okay. All right. 7% have a fear of failure. Yeah, yeah. 5% say the challenge is that they're long hours and they miss out on other aspects of their life. I am, again, surprised that that number is much, not much larger. And then, uh, you know, 3% don't even have uh, trust for their employees to run things while they're gone or they don't even come up with a succession plan. Absolutely. I know Carrie Conley with Infinite Nation just did a weekend retreat on putting together that succession plan for your business. Check her out at infinitenation.com. One might want to ask the question, why then do people even start businesses? Most of them start because they're pursuing their passion. Oh. Over 60%. They're doing something they absolutely love. They like to have the freedom to be able to control their, their professional life. They like the flexibility. Over half of them want the flexibility that comes with owning your own business. Not going to work for the man anymore. They want to build a business. They want to create a legacy um, that either they can put their name on or something their family can be involved with, which is a which is pretty cool. Um, and then less than 10% lost their former job. So they ended up starting their own business because oh. they lost their former job, which probably means they're not going to stick around um, in that business. They're just making ends meet for enough a little of, while. Enough of those dark days. How about the greatest reward? You ready? 30% mm -hmm. say the greatest reward is the freedom to try new things and make my own mistakes. That's an unusual reward. To, yeah, to make mistakes. Right. But, you know, we do every day and nobody's going to fire us for it. 29% um, say I get to control my destiny. 19% get to say, I like being the decision maker. And 12% say, putting my stamp on things. So what is interesting is you look at the passions and why people get started. You know, it's the flexibility, being able to be creative and do all of this. But yet the biggest challenges are that we can't. Or it takes too much time. I'm wearing too many hats. Right. And we're yeah. not actually doing the things. So here's the thing. What Remember why you started. Put that vision in front of you. And there are systems and processes that you can implement to make you, to ease the time management, to bring on the right people, to delegate it out so that you can actually get to that space where you feel like you own the business versus the other way around. Absolutely. And your, uh, your prescription, uh, if you will, is to tune in every day to the Experience Pros radio show where we will give you tips and tricks and ideas. And, and you know, we are small business, so we get it. And we give you nothing but the best in small business advice from great experts from around the world. These are people that are actually building businesses in all phases of of their business, from startups to you know tons of employees. They've sold their business. They've started lots of them. So great tips and tricks from people that are actually doing what it is that you want to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, thanks to the NFIB. If you're not a member, you ought to check them out. They're kind of an interesting uh, organization, the NFIB.com com is where you can find that information and uh, that, that was good absolutely and of course if you ever miss any of of the tips you want to go back and listen again grab some information take notes you can listen to the podcast of the experience pros radio show 24 7 online at our website experiencepros.com you'll also find we feature all of the sponsors who make the experience pros radio show possible for you and if you're interested check out the extreme customer service directory where we select nothing but the best in business they go through a 16-step phase uh process of vetting so that we can offer to you all around the country nothing but the best in business. Membership does have its privileges. We guarantee visibility and we'd love to have you consider membership in that. Look at the time. Got to go. But the good news is we'll be back tomorrow.
always every day right here bringing you positive business talk before you pick up that phone to make that phone call tune in and let us inspire you there you go uh, on behalf of charlie our producer angel myself and all the people that make the experience pros radio show happen every single day we want to say thank you for tuning in and participating in the revolution in how people treat people in business this has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.